conceptualized, they have confirmed that one of the key reasons why we age is something called AGE. Now, AGEs spell the word age, but it actually stands for something different. They are harmful compounds that are found in the body. It stands for advanced glycation end products. What science has found out is the more AGEs you have in your system, the more likely or the more linked they are to harmful diseases. So you might say, well, what's an AGE? You all ready for a really deep scientific biologic <laughs> lesson? An AGE is when protein and sugar combine, they form this harmful stuff, substance and attach to tissue. Now, if you can't think of it that way, this is the real scientific part. It's when a Big Mac meets a Coke. <laughs> okay, protein meeting sugar. It combines in the body, and AGEs are linked to all the diseases you see here. And more. Obesity, kidney disease, immunity, uh, immunity and cancer, heart, diabetes. All of the things you see here are linked to how many AGEs you have in your system. Now, the older you get, the more AGEs you're going to have. But some people, haven't you, isn't this true? You can find one lady who's 40 years old. You look at her and you go, oh my goodness, you don't look that old. You find one lady who's 40 years old and you go, oh my goodness, I thought you were much older. <laughs> you guys relate to that? The difference is how the AGEs are growing in their body. So the good news is AGEs can be measured and they can be monitored. So how many of you, now that you know that AGEs are harmful substance in the body, if you could find out how the AGEs are building in your body. How many of you would like to know that? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I gotta ask that differently. How many of you don't wanna know? Because <laughs> some people just don't raise their hand. By the way, this is a participation event. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask again, if you can find out how many of you wanna know. And if somebody's sitting next to you and don't raise their hand, nothing. <laughs> this is real important because this is cutting edge science. This would be equivalent to saying, how many of you want to know that your blood pressure is normal? Yes. And if somebody said to you, I don't, I don't really care, what's your thought about that person? Either something's wrong with them, or they know and don't want you to know. One of the two. But AGEs, I mean, think about it. The older you get, the more AGEs you have. I think about young children. They don't have as many AGEs. AGEs also cause stiffening in the body. You take a young child, two or three, and you say, hey, listen, bend down and touch your toes. They bend down, they touch it, they take their whole hand and put it on the floor. <laughs> you take somebody 40, and if I said, everybody in this room, stand up and touch your toes, some of you won't even try. <laughs> some of you not even going to get up, and some of you not getting much further than your knees. It's, an, it's indicative of the, the stiffening that occurs with all those AGEs in your system. Does that make sense to everyone? Because sometimes you need real examples to be able to put it into the mind of how AGEs work. <clears throat> there were three medical markers that doctors use. When you go to the doctor, I don't care if you stump your toe or have a sore throat. They're going to do a blood test. They're going to check your HDL and LDL. How's your cholesterol? Now, that's relatively new. In our generation, years ago, you didn't hear as much about cholesterol. But today, they always check that. They're going to check your body mass. Like, if you have a sore throat, you go to the doctor, he says, stand on the scale. You're like, what does that have to do with my throat? <laughs> it's a medical market. It tells the conditioning of your body. Body mass index is very important. They always take your blood pressure. Now, here's the fourth one. Now, you can find out your AGE score. 